Could you tell us why Mission to Seafarers are here in Saudi Arabia? Certainly, we have been present in other GCC countries for many years with our operation in ports caring for seafarers. We have been uh, in Bahrain, no great distance from here in Daman, for a considerable period and even longer in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we have a long held ambition to be part of the maritime scene here in Saudi Arabia. And we realize with the growing Vision 2030 that there is much development, much growth happening here. We want to be part of those conversations. Our passion is for the welfare of seafarers who come from all around the world and travel all around the world. And we are hoping that we can start to build stakeholders uh, and relationships here towards being present in some uh, way in one or more of the Saudi ports. What is it that Mission to Seafarers does for its seafarers? We've traditionally done three things. Simply providing a presence, a friendly face, a visitor on board ships as they come and dock uh, in port. Secondly, to provide the opportunity, if there is some opportunity for shore leave, to come away from the ship and to have a home from home in a seafarers club or a seafarers center. And thirdly, where there are particular pressures and issues, a need to have a deeper conversation, to have people who are trained and equipped to listen. There are many issues of mental ill health, of loneliness, uh, of separation from family, uh, which we will regularly encounter with seafarers. Or they may be ones related to employment. So where there are bad employers, contract breaches, renewing contracts on the wrong side of the world after long, long periods under contract. And in the most extreme situations, abandonment or abuse of seafarers. And then with others, we act often as an intermediary, as a trusted middle partner to help those conversations resolve the situations to care for the seafarer and put things right where we can. Now that the pandemic is at an end, do you think that the international focus has moved away from seafarers and that we may be in danger of forgetting this very valuable service? I think we are. The mantra we often repeat, and we are a volunteer funded organization, we're a not-for-profit organization, and so we're constantly wanting to tell the story. The story we tell is that 90% of everything that we receive, uh, our goods and services, comes by sea, and that means seafarers, and they are literally out of sight and too often out of mind. Briefly, during the pandemic time, people were more alert to global supply chains, and our message was easier to hear. In fact, we saw, and we are grateful for it, we saw additional support for our work during that time, and we are now deploying those funds strategically, including, we hope, uh, here to expand our work into Saudi ports. But yes, soon as it is said, it is forgotten again. And so we constantly are telling that story. Seafarers making those invisible but vital people visible again is right at the heart of what we've been doing for uh, very nearly 200 years. <laughs>